What is going on guys, Thunder Bro here, and today I have another Pocket Edition 0.7.0 update for you. So, a lot of people have been recently asking me about Realms, and now I finally have an answer to give out. Daniel Frisk recently said, a quick info, Minecraft Realms isn't built for huge public servers. The target group is really a small group of friends, or as a family server. Kind of depressing, we thought that Realms was going to be bigger, but um, I guess it's... Uh, it's taking a different turn, and I hope that they imp or implement true, dedicated, full-out servers in the near future. Okay, so this next tweet comes from Johan. He says the next version of Pocket Edition will be delayed, and he expects to have it released by mid to late April. And um, as disappointing as this is, because the update's not coming as quickly as we thought, in a way, it's almost good for me, because I'm still doing my Let's Play. I'm only on, like, Episode 7 as of the recording of this, so... Um, thankfully there's going to be a bit more time for me to crank out my Let's Play, but for those people who are impatient, they're going to have to sit and wait a little bit longer. And, uh, as a continuation to this tweet, someone asked, I'm really upset, why will it be delayed? I've been waiting forever, please tell me why. And Johan said they made some new changes, like last minute changes, and they wanted to make the menus look a lot better. So I guess it's good that they're taking priority and they're taking their time trying to make the game now look a lot better. So, um, I guess good for them, they're taking a bit longer. At least the update will be a bit better in our, I guess, in our hands, and it will be, um, a lot, I guess, less buggier than 0.6.0 was. So, this next tweet says, Please respond, party please. What are the chances of implementing larger worlds into pocket condition in the near future? My life depends on it. And Johan pretty much just replies, don't bet your life on it. I would assume it would make the game a lot laggier, and they're going to have to rewrite, I guess, the terrain generation code in order to make larger worlds, um, and also make sure that the game doesn't lag as much. So, larger worlds are going to have to wait, unfortunately. So, this next week comes from Johan, who says that, um, I guess people are complaining about not getting any information about the update, but he said that he's been working on the GUIs, and there'll be some information or more information about the next update after GDC. Don't know what GDC is, but um, he's going to be soon releasing a bit more information about the update. Now this next person asks a pretty good question. He asks, if is Pocket Edition going to have buckets or villages or enchantment tables? And Jeb responds that he doesn't really know yet, but um, I think enchantment tables aren't really going to come until they add experience, and villages, they haven't even added caves, so uh, who knows. And this next tweet um, says, Hi, it would be awesome if you could answer this. Um, what is uh, this going to be any new information on Pocket Edition besides multiplayer? And he says, it's not decided yet, but I'll look into buckets next week. So this tweet was actually from last week, and so I'm assuming that he's working on buckets right now. It'd be awesome if he is. Buckets are a thing that has been requested since the 0.3 update, and it's just been on everybody's minds. Buckets, buckets, buckets. When are we going to get buckets? And it looks like that Johan, or not Johan, Jeb is working on them right now, and hopefully next update we'll have them. Okay, so before I wrap off this episode, there's two more tweets I want to show you. Um, this first person says, hey, I hope you can answer this question. Is there going to be a limit um, on Pocket Edition Realms? And he pretty much says he doesn't know, but I would assume there is because the target is a small audience of maybe a few people, a bunch of friends, a small group of family members. So I'd assume there's going to be probably a cap on the amount of people that can join the server. It's just not decided yet. And I actually posted a response to that tweet and I said, you know, judging on last tweets, um, there's probably going to be a cap of 15 or 20 people at the most. I hope there is a cap of... It. Mac at least 20 people because um, there's been a bunch of people requesting to join my future Pocket Edition Realm server and I can rattle off at least 17 people that have asked me so far so I hope there's um, not as small as a cap as people are predicting. And last but not least this person asks will there be a skin pack for Pocket Edition? Now, skin packs, as in similar to Xbox Edition, where they release like four skins at a time in different uh, skin packs. And um, Jeb pretty much just responds, they're going to look into skins once the Mojang account system is in place, and they'll see about adding skins in the near future. Which is pretty awesome, because the only way you could really get skins now is through jailbreaking, through like something like IMCP Edit, or some something like that. 
But um, I think they actually patched that. I'm not sure. But skins are extremely difficult to use now. I did have a tutorial on how to get skins in the game, but it's it's no longer functional. Um, but anyway. Uh, skins are going to be looked into after Mojang logins are added. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of um, 0.7.0 News, uh, please be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, subscribe, favorite this video. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next video.